Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Greetings of peace, mercy, and blessings, science minded learners. Welcome to another fun and exciting learning with me, Teacher Pam. Your science chum. Have your pen, paper, and module ready for today. We will learn about colloids and their characteristics here in our Science Seeds class. But before that, let's have a short game. I want you to arrange the jumbled letters found on the screen and get the correct answer. Are you ready? Let's begin! The correct answer is Emulsion. The correct answer is colloid. Just few more jumbled letters. Right. The correct answer is foam. The correct answer is salt. Wow! You did great! Later, you will know what these words are after we review what you have learned from our topic on solution and its characteristics. As a review, put a check mark before the number if the illustration shows a solution and X if it does not. Number 1. Steel rod Number 2. Air Number 3. Pieces of paper in water Number 4. Wine Number 5. Mud in a pail Here are the answers. Steel rod is a solid solution, so the correct answer is a check mark. Air is a gaseous solution, so the correct answer is also a check mark. Next, the pieces of paper in the water is not a solution. Since we can still see the pieces of paper, so the answer is X. On the other hand, wine is a solution. So, the answer is a check mark. Lastly, mud in a pail is not a solution, so the answer is X. I hope that you got all the correct answers. If not, don't worry, you can still catch up by watching our previous episodes. Now, my dear science-minded learners, how do you describe solution? Remember, solution is a homogeneous mixture. It contains solute and solvent. When you look at solution, it is not possible to distinguish a solute from a solvent. Nowadays, we have created a lot of mixtures from food, medicine, and even industrial materials. A variety of products are made up of different mixtures. There are different types of mixtures. One of these is based on the phase of the dispersed substance and in what phase it is dispersed in. Today, you will be able to identify the different types of colloids. Now, Let's go to our what's in part. Identify if the following is a colloid or not. Write C if it is a colloid and MC if it is not. Write your answers on your paper. Number 1. Gelatin. The correct answer is C. Colloid. Number 2. Mayonnaise. The correct answer is C. Colloid. Number three, soft drinks. The correct answer is NC. Not a colloid because soft drinks are solutions. Number four, vinegar. The correct answer is NC. Not a colloid because vinegar is a solution. Number 5. 
smug. The correct answer is C. Colloid. Wow! You really did a good job! Colloids are one of the primary types of mixtures. It is a type of mixture in which solid or liquid particles are dispersed uniformly throughout a gas, liquid, or solid. Colloid particles may be seen in a beam of light, such as dust in the air and a shaft of sunlight. Blood, whipped cream, and fog are examples of colloids. To be classified as colloid, the substance in dispersed phase must be larger than the size of the molecule but smaller than what can be seen with the naked eye. The component which is typically present in a relatively small amount is called dispersed phase. And the substance or solution throughout which particulate is dispersed is called the dispersion medium. Colloid creates a Tyndall effect. It is the effect of light scattering in colloidal dispersion. If no light is shown, then it is a true solution. This effect is used to determine whether a mixture is a true solution or a colloid. A common method of classifying colloids is based on the phase of the dispersed substance and at what phase it is dispersed. The types of colloids are Number 1. Sol is a colloidal suspension with solid particles in a liquid. Examples are gelatin and blood. Number 2. Emulsion formed between two liquids. Examples are milk and mayonnaise. Number 3. Foam is formed when many gas particles are trapped in a liquid. Examples are beaten egg white and whipped cream. Number 4. Aerosol contains small particles of liquid or solid dispersed in a gas. Types of aerosol Number 1. Liquid aerosol Liquid dispersed in a gas Examples Fog and clouds Number 2. Solid aerosol Solid dispersed in a gas Examples Smog and dust in the air now, let's have our activity time! How will we determine a colloid? These are the materials we need. 150 ml of water, steering rod, flashlight, and liquid milk. First, add 50 ml of liquid milk to the 150 ml of water and stir it thoroughly. Then, darken the room and point the flashlight to the container. Finally, observe the light that passes through the container. In this mixture, what is the dispersed phase? What is the dispersion medium? Right! The milk liquid is the dispersed phase and the water is the dispersion medium. What have you observed when the source of light was pointed through a colloid? The beam of light is visible. What phenomenon is shown in this activity? Very good! It is a Tyndall effect. Science-minded learners, take note that a colloid may be a mixture of one substance that may spread out evenly inside another substance. The other is kind of dispersed medium, sometimes called the internal phase. This is never tiny solid particles. Otherwise, if the dispersion medium is a gas, then the internal phase may be either tiny particles or tiny droplets of a liquid. Now, let's move on to our what's more. Sort the mixtures into the correct category in which they belong. Write your answers in the table format using your paper. Where should we put paint? In Sol's column or in Emotion's column? Great! It is in the Sol's column. Where should we put pearl? 
in sauce column or emulsions column. Excellent! It is in the emulsions column. Where should we put mayonnaise? In sauce column or emulsions column? Great! It is in emulsions column. Where should we put ice cream? In sauce column or emulsions column? Great! It's in the emulsions column. Where should we put blood? In sauce column or in emulsions column? Very good! It is in sauce column. Where should we put glue? In sauce column or emulsions column? Very good! It's in the sauce column. Ah! We have Cece here again. How are you, Cece? Oh, I'm good, Teacher Pam. So, Cece, what help do you need right now? I have to identify if the statements about colloids and its characteristics are true or false. Can you help me again? Can we help CC again? Great! These are the statements that we should identify. Number 1. Fog is an example of aerosols. The correct answer is true. Number 2. A colloid is not a mixture. The correct answer is false. Number 3. Bubbles are an example of foams. The correct answer is true. Number 4. Emulsion, sol, foam, and aerosol are types of colloids. The correct answer is true. Number 5. Tyndall effect is used to determine whether a mixture is a true solution or a colloid. The correct answer is true. Now, let's go to our what I have learned. Write your answers on your paper. I learned that the blank is a type of mixture in which solid or liquid particles are dispersed uniformly throughout a gas, liquid, or solid. The correct answer is The colloid is a type of mixture in which solid or liquid particles are dispersed uniformly throughout a gas, liquid or solid it is classified into four types blank 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 and blank great it is classified into four types sol emulsion foam and aerosol now let's go to our what i can do Read carefully the information and answer the questions correctly. Write your answers on your paper. Number 1. What phenomenon is created when the dispersed colloid particles scatter light? Very good! Tyndall effect is the phenomenon created when the dispersed colloid particles scatter light. Number 2. What is the dispersing medium of a smoke? Excellent! Gas is the dispersing medium of a smoke. Amazing! It seems like you have learned a lot from our episode today. And I hope that you will apply what you have learned because knowledge without application is useless. Science-minded learners, are you ready for our assessment? Choose the letter of the best answer. Write the chosen letter on your paper. Number 1. 
Which of the following is an example of a colloid? A. Mayonnaise B. Cooking oil C. Soft drinks Or D. Bubbles in a water The correct answer is letter A. Mayonnaise Number 2 what phenomenon occur when dispersed colloid particles scatter light? A. Tyndall effect B. Shaft effect C. Miscible or D. Immiscible The correct answer is letter A. Tyndall effect Number 3 What example of colloid has dispersed solid particles in gas? A. Milk B. Smoke C. Gelatin or D. Whipped cream The correct answer is C. Gelatin Number 4 What is the most abundant particle in a colloid? A. Dispersing mediums B. Dispersing phases C. Miscible D. Immiscible The correct answer is letter A, dispersing mediums. Number 5. Why is milk categorized as emulsion? A. Because settling cannot separate the components of homogenized milk. B. Because settling can separate the components of homogenized milk. C. The colloids particles of milk are larger. Or D. The colloids particles are smaller. The correct answer is letter A because settling cannot separate the components of homogenized milk. To catch up with the next lesson on suspensions and their characteristics, let's stay tuned to learn more. Only here on Depet TV. Remember, our Almighty God is always with us and the virus will not stop us from learning. Once again, I am Teacher Pam, leaving a message. It's better to learn slowly than to not learn at all. Wassalam!